Well, it is fairly quiet out there for now. We do have those clouds still around the area currently. You can see that wide view of the satellite imagery, pretty active across the country here with a lot of little kind of systems all over the place. One over there in the northeast. We've got the system over our area here in the central U.S. and another system moving in on the west coast. So again, a pretty active period of time across our region. We'll zoom in here towards our area, seeing that radar showing you that those showers and thunderstorms earlier this morning have since dissipated, but they've left a little bit of a boundary across our region. And as the heating of the day kicks up, I do expect to see more of these showers and thunderstorms start to pop up around our area um, here. We'll zoom in here, showing you some of those lighter showers uh, over near Carmi. They're since moving out right now. And as we head a little bit further south, Marion down towards Princeton and Fair Dealing, still dealing with some of those light to moderate showers uh, down there to the south and east. But again, those should clear out quite quickly. Live look at Mount Vernon, seeing some of those clouds out there. Um, starting to kind of break up, seeing some breaks in the uh, breaks in the clouds, seeing some of that sunshine move into the area. So we're warming up now 65 degrees, the dew point at 61. So quite muggy out there as you step out the door and those winds still out of the south at eight miles per hour. So we're still in that very moist air mass here across our region, seeing those 70s starting to pop up already. 70 in Cape Girardeau, 71 in Carbondale, Dixon Springs sitting at 69 degrees, Union City at 70, Kennett at 73, our warmest spot right now. So again, we're going to see those breaks in the clouds. That sunshine will heat up and that'll allow for some more uh, storms to develop today, mainly to the south and east, but they could start to fire around Carbondale or so and then move their way to the south and east today. Wednesday, though, we are going to be dry. We'll still be cloudy for your Wednesday as another storm system approaches for your later on in the week, and that means more unsettled weather uh, for our weather pattern here. So again, a busy few several uh, days here coming up in the next week. Future cast showing those storms starting to pop as we head towards your two and three o'clock time period, but they'll quickly move to the south and east and then uh, places like Paducah down towards Kennett dealing with them by around 6 p.m. Our northwest counties here near Mount Vernon over towards uh, um, uh, the south east portions of Missouri, not dealing with those anymore as that line continues to shift to the south and east. Those clouds do stick around for your Wednesday, though. You can see Wednesday 3 p.m. We're still socked in with clouds here across our region, but we will be dry for the rest of the day on Wednesday. But as we head towards your later on in the week, as we head towards Thursday, we start to see that system approaching from the south and west, and that's going to mean more showers and potentially thunderstorms for our region as we head towards your Friday. Storm Track 3 app is obviously going to be a great thing to have uh, in your back pocket. You'll be able to have that radar on your phone. You'll be able to track those rain showers as they uh, continue throughout the next week or so. You'll be able to see whether it's going to be raining outside of your door wherever you are located. 10 day forecast showing you that those showers and thunderstorms are continuing here for your Tuesday. Wednesday, though we are dry, still warm at 62 degrees. Again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, most of the day should be dry, but again, those showers will be moving in through the PM hours uh, in the afternoon and then all of Friday looking pretty messy there with uh, cloud showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe as of right now, not looking too crazy, but as we head towards the weekend, we do end up clearing out and as we extend the forecast out, it looks much better for your early next week, seeing some of that sunshine, but not going to be seeing a whole lot of sunshine here over the uh, latter half of this week. All right. Well, it kind of fooled us earlier. Um, <laughs> our producer and I were outside. We were like, um, what are we going to say in our tease? Because we know the weather is going to change throughout right. the day, but it was kind of nice for a moment there. Yep. And then showers and thunderstorms mm -hmm. pop back up. All right. Thanks, Nick. Yep.